Welcome to the course Engineering Data Analysis. This is a course offered by the College of Engineering and Food Science of the uh, Central Bicol State University of Agriculture. Uh, this course is offered the first semester of the uh, academic year. I am uh, Ian and I will be handling this uh, three unit lecture class. All courses have a course outline and as we will see, uh, this subject has a very comprehensive one. It builds on your knowledge of your basic mathematics. But uh, before we go through the course outline, we first have an overview of uh, the university philosophy, the vision, mission, goals, and objectives, or uh, collectively termed the uh, PVMGO. As a state university, adhering to the uh, United Nations Sustainable Development Goals with emphasis on quality education, we have the philosophy of education for sustainable human development. Our vision is to be an agricultural uh, research university of global standards. Our research efforts from your student uh, thesis to thesis to uh, faculty projects and uh, university programs aim to be of impact in the global scale. So our mission is uh, leading innovations, building resilient and sustainable communities. Uh, the collective goals of the university are uh, enabling transformative and inclusive learning experiences, uh, generating and utilizing new knowledge and uh, technologies, engaging and empowering communities, intensifying internationalization and resource generation initiatives, establishing an e, a one e-governance system, and enhancing management of uh, university resources. Uh, in all this, uh, the physical classroom, a class module, and our online learning platform called the uh, uh, VLP for virtual learning platform shall be our venues to live out the PB, PBMGO. The university quality policy is to lead in innovations in instruction, research, uh, extension, and uh, resource generation for the satisfaction of clients, where you students partly belong to, and for resilient and sustainable communities. Our society is changing, and uh, we look forward uh, for you to uh, for you students to take part in advancing society through the professionalism and learnings uh, you get and the research outputs all of us in the university individually and coll collectively can put forward. It is also a uh, university policy to uphold uh, its core values and principles as shown. And being uh, an ISO certified institution, meaning uh, it has a quality management system QMS in place as assessed by an ISO certifying body, uh, CBSUA seeks continuous improvement. Uh, ISO is the International Organization for Standardization. We have our guiding values as shown, quality excellence, uh, quality and excellence, teamwork and unity, professionalism, liberalism, institutional pride. Our, our, our core principles are discipline, respect, and care. Besides the uh, university goals, we also have uh, college goals. The College of Engineering and Food Science goals are to develop students' lifelong ability and skills to make them work, life, and world ready. Upgrade continuously the uh, quality of the agricultural and 
uh, agricultural engineering and food science and technology programs. That's why you are in the uh, ABE program now. Enhanced qualification of faculty members and staff. Uh, modernized infrastructure facilities and equipment for instruction, research, extension, production, and entrepreneurial development. And lastly, uh, develop, implement, and deliver cutting edge gender cum environment friendly research, uh, extension, production, and entrepreneurial programs. The program objectives of the uh, Bachelor of Science in Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering are for the graduates of the program to uh, provide leadership and planning, implementation and monitoring ABA projects and programs. Occupy supervisory positions in private and public, sorry. Uh, organizations, okay, locally and internationally, own and man or man and or manage ABE based uh, business enterprises, pursue advanced studies in ABE and emerging related fields, and lastly, to occupy responsible positions in ABE education, uh, with yours truly as an example. All these uh, objectives should be attainable three to five years uh, after graduation. So far we have discussed the PVMGO of the university. Let us proceed uh, with the course online with the course proper beginning in the next lecture video. Uh, in this course introduction video, we will also be discussing the classroom policies and grading system after the course outline. Uh, there are 13 topics distributed uh, throughout the whole 18 week duration of the uh, semester. The course is divided into three assessment uh, periods, with the first two culminating in with a project and the last one with an examination covering the entire core syllabus. The first assessment period will cover data, particularly in obtaining them, uh, probabilities and probability distributions. In obtaining data, uh, we will discuss the methods of data collection from surveys to experiments. Uh, we'll also cover variables thereafter. <clears throat> For the concept of probability, we will be expounding on from the basic idea of a sample space, uh, events, and the relationships of these events. Uh, to the uh, counting rules and rules of probability. All these are significant concepts in probability distributions, which is the foundation of a sound experimental uh, design. The various probability distributions that will be discussed in class are the uh, discrete, continuous, and joint probability distributions. The distributions should be uh, representative of the engineering data from the system we are looking into. Uh, engineering data often takes the form of numerical values from the uh, real number system. And thus we will be tackling the binomial, Poisson, uh, normal, and exponential distributions and their derivatives. Uh, the necessary build building blocks of these topics will also be discussed in detail so that by the end of the first assessment period, uh, you students should be able to appropriate the uh, correct distribution to the various uh, engineering variables. Uh, details of the project for the first assessment period will be provided in week six, although 
uh, this will certainly be about uh, data and probability distribution. The second assessment period will introduce the idea of hypothesis and testing them. Before that though, uh, we'll be further expanding our discussion on data with uh, sampling distributions, point estimation and uh, yeah, point of estimation of parameters and statistical intervals. This is in view of the limitations imposed upon by uh, significantly big populations of interest. Uh, we cannot sample all elements in sample space, but we can always limit the quantity of elements and the corresponding data from them, while ensuring uh, that such limited quantity remains representative of the population. Uh, this is where uh, the confidence interval is introduced. Uh, once this has been dealt with, uh, hypothesis testing can commence so that the initial uh, data analysis we can already uh, perform. The, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, I will go back. Uh, where were we? Okay, so we begin with the basic data analysis procedures of statistical inference, simple linear regression, and correlation by week 10. Uh, the various um, uh, differences of these basic analysis methods will cover two weeks, after which is the end of the second assessment period cap with the second project. Uh, the, third last assess the third and last assessment period will see the expansion of uh, linear, uh, linear re regression, with okay, a simple linear regression uh, into multiple linear regression after uh, continuing the simple linear regression and correlation subtopics. Well, multiple linear regression modeling should enable the students to take on a new light in analysis as, a, as this multiple uh, linear regression models take on um, multiple explanatory variables to predict or explain the outcome of a single response uh, variable, like in uh, linear regression, which uses only one uh, explanatory variable for the, uh, uh, the, the response variable. Uh, linear regression is often predictable, okay, that's why uh, it should be a new experience for a student. It's predictable, if not alluded to by common sense. And the course will wrap up with uh, two main topics on experimental design, from uh, single factor experiments to uh, factorial, factorial experimental designs, and the surface, surface uh, response or response surface methods. Week 18 will end with the third and last assessment of an examination covering uh, weeks one to seven or basically the entire course. Take note that we will be using the uh, statistical programming software R, but the discussion of which shall be just injected throughout the course whenever needed, uh, as we have no laboratory class for this. Uh, subject. Uh, the class will follow the uh, blended learning format. Thus, the students have the option of uh, using the module or the CBSUA virtual learning uh, portal or VLP accessible via the uh, website provided on the uh, screen. Uh, in this regard, each student is expected to uh, get 
an institutional email and the corresponding VLP account. Uh, the class follows an, an asynchronous learning format at least every uh, six weeks for the duration of the uh, one assessment period. All lecture videos, uh, all lectures uh, will be conducted using uh, recorded videos, watchable on demand, and accessible through the VLP EMTH4 course dashboard. Uh, for those who prefer learning with modules, since the module option is available, uh, the modules will be given to you. Uh, but you have to uh, await the directions for uh, um, the, the before proceeding to the uh, department for to avail of your uh, modules, a module. Okay, directions for the various learning resources and tasks are available in the VLP and module at the same time, okay, since they have the same contents. A student can complete course requirements by following the tasks indicated therein. All right, let's proceed to the uh, assessment or the evaluation of your um, performance in the class. For the whole duration of the course, there are at least 30 recorded lecture videos as the main learning material besides readings and the competencies to assess uh, your knowledge of the subject. Some lectures will be conducted live via uh, video conferencing on the assigned class schedule. While not compulsory, uh, students are advised to take advantage of the live video conferencing sessions. Uh, when will this be? Uh, it's, it has to be, uh, it has yet to be announced. Uh, I will be informing you through the VLP or SMS about this uh, setup. There are four competencies, okay, for the class, practice exercises, laboratory exercises, projects, and an examination. Uh, projects are actually part of the practice exercises. The practice exercises, depending on the learning outcomes for the topic and the topic coverage itself, will vary from exercise to <coughs> exercise. Only the projects are unique among these exercises. Uh, every topic has corresponding uh, sorry, corresponding, okay, every topic has corresponding uh, uh, practice exercises, okay, and unrecorded pre and post competency quizzes. Uh, these quizzes should uh, be your training ground for the examination. Okay, again, the online and module version will have the same content, thus the practice exercises can be also handwritten besides um, uh, written with a document uh, editor and submitted either online or as a printout. Uh, meanwhile, keys to correction for the practice exercises increases will be made available with the students expected to review this on their own. Uh, you can take the time of the uh, video conference to clarify and ask questions about the those that you don't understand. Uh, it is the advantage of those learning online to have access to a discussion board where they can interact directly with classmates and the course instructor. Uh, discussion board mechanics and guidelines will be provided for the, in the PLP. Depending on the requirements of a topic, a student is required to comply with the discussion board post. It can be a, an answer to a question posted, an original discussion post, or some other kind. Only for those utilizing the module, uh, I would provide, I'll, be, I'll be providing my cons personal contact numbers so students can message me directly. I will allocate, sorry, I, I ended the screen share. Okay, wait. Where was I? 
Ok. Okay, I will be uh, giving the SMS. Okay. Um, <clears throat> about the examination, okay, the assessment, the details of it shall be cascaded as the semester unfolds because there are uh, potential concerns in conducting live online, uh, live on-site classes. Uh, what is certain is that the examination will cover the entire uh, course syllabus. So, uh, without much further ado, I want uh, I'll be uh, meeting you in the next lecture lecture video. Okay. Thank you for uh, listening.